You're not going to believe what I have for you today. This is Eric Elliott at Alta Plaza Park in San Francisco, and today is Pug Sunday. Wait until you see this. If you're in the vicinity of Scott and Steiner in Pacific Heights, and it's the first Sunday of the month, do yourself a favor and drop by the park to play with some of the cutest creatures in the city. Nobody knows who started Pug Sunday, but it has grown into a popular weekend event among local dog owners. The gathering begins about 1 p.m. and lasts until the last pug goes home, usually about three hours. I spoke with many human companions, and they're fiercely devoted to their pugs. You've been doing this for a long time. Yes, I have. I've been coming to Pug Sunday for about five or six years. How are the pugs around kids? Does Hello. Logan like kids? He's very good with children. He's very gentle. In fact, he loves to play. In fact, I kind of nicknamed him today the Kissing Bandit because earlier he was going up to his little baby and just licking him over and over again. He would keep repeating it constantly. He's a love bug. I think people should look into getting pugs more. They're wonderful dogs. Anybody who's looking into getting a pet, this is the greatest pet I've ever had. I love him. He's my little boy. I'm very happy. And Pug Sunday is a great way to see if you're up for the task because they're fun. They have a lot of energy. They have big personalities. They're a lot of dog in a little package. They may come in a small package, but for some it's better than any gift they can imagine. I needed a Christmas present for her one year. And he asked me what I wanted for Christmas, and I said, I want a pug. He goes, no way, I'm not getting you a dog. I said, well, then diamonds. So he got me the pug. <laughs> he's been better than diamonds, I'll tell you yeah, that much. Yeah, he's the best present I've ever got. Yeah, look at that. Many visitors don't even have a pug of their own. They've simply come for the fun. And I understand that you set up this morning about 10 o'clock right in this spot in anticipation of being in the center of the whole thing. Of course. Pretty much our usual. <laughs> <laughs> We're the first ones to set up shop. <laughs> now, why do you come up here? Because they're just the cutest things ever, and they come and roll all over you and get you dirty, and it's just the best. We like to live vicariously through the pugs, <laughs> even, uh, even though we don't have one. It's our I, strategy I hear to get all the pugs on our blanket, so... <laughs> <laughs> Not all visitors come to play. Some hope to find special pugs a new home. We have um, five pugs here that are looking for homes. We work at a daycare for dogs, and we're fostering these guys right now. And it's the first time I've been to Pug Sunday, but we thought it'd be some good exposure for these ladies who need homes. Molly Maloney owns Pooch's Playtime, a doggy daycare in San Francisco. What I have is a daycare and boarding facility, and we do foster care out of that, and the adoptions take place from there. Regardless of why people come to the park on this first Sunday of every month, everybody agrees on one thing. Pugs rule. They're the <laughs> best dogs ever. Just come and play with the pugs. First Sunday of every month. They're the best. Whether you have a pug of your own or you think a dog is in your future, come on over to Alta Plaza Park the first Sunday of next month and check out Pug Sunday. In San Francisco, I'm Eric Elliott. <laughs> Regardless of why you come to the...